that is the maddest is thing. Is it? Well, yes. I want to be a dad with Michelle. But you just said she wasn't keen. Well, so I'll work on her. You know, I, I can't just go and have a baby with someone else. That's bonkers. Or could it be the answer to all of our prayers? Rana doesn't want the dad to be a stranger. And this way, we know you really well. well. Yeah, a bit too well, Kate. It's a recipe for disaster. Oh, you reckon? What do you think Michelle would say? She doesn't want a baby. That doesn't mean that you can't. OK, but but with you and, and Rana, how would it even...? I don't know. Yeah, we'd still do IUI. All three of us would bring up the baby together. I think it's a really cool idea. No, 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 no. she'd hit the roof. Just, I meant it as a, a last resort for those fails. Oh, Kate, look, if I was on my own, I might feel differently. And I'm, I'm sorry that Rana's kind of lost your plans, but you're asking me to go from nothing to co-parenting with a gay couple faster than a bullet train. It's OK. Cover is here. You should be serving the wine, not guzzling it all yourself. <laughs> She's right. I think you need to go home and sober up. I mean, what kind of a monster would do a thing like that? It was an accident. Oh, she did it deliberately. She's been picking on me all day. She's a nasty old bat. <gasps> Are you going to stand there and let her talk to me like that? Say sorry, Hope. Hope? Right, girls, go to your room just for a couple of minutes. Go on. I want you to leave the room and all. Me? Yes. Go for a walk just till the dust settles. And what kind of a message is that sending out? Well, this is my house. I call the shots. Making a rod for your own back. He could have been seriously hurt. It was a stupid and reckless thing to do. Yeah, steady on, mate. Kev, it was a bit of fun. Jack enjoyed it. Yeah, it was a bit of safe fun. Right? It wasn't any danger. Here, let's have a look at that coat again. I'm fine. No, he's still bleeding. It doesn't look too bad. Dad. Look, maybe we should go and see the physio at the hospital. No, I said I'm fine. Just to be on the safe yeah. side. Mate, you can't keep wrapping him in cotton wool. He's hurt! You're not helping him. You're just reminding him of his disability. He's got to feel like a normal kid. Oh, well, thanks for your advice. But he's my son. Did he tell you he got 89% of the food hygiene course? Did you now? Yeah, he still can't cook, but he's poisoning fewer people. My skill's next. You know, I think I actually found something that I like that I'm good at. Oh, I'm proud of you, son. Come here. <laughs> yeah, we can hone your knife skills by duly earning some carrots. And if you find time to tidy the flat any time soon, we did say we'd take it in turns. Oh, nice having him there, then. The leftover pizza boxes don't exactly leave me dewy-eyed. All right, come on. Who's rattled your cage? No one. It's, it's just seeing you with Ryan sometimes. Just like you're proud he's got his food hygiene certificate, I'm just relieved we haven't wasted the entrance fee. You feel like you're missing out. Yeah, but I'll never be proud of something that my kid does. Well, he's your stepson. Look, he came into my life at the age of 26. I never took him to the footy. I never taught him how to ride a bike or any of those things. So, yeah, I do feel like I've missed out. You're a parent. I'm not. All right, so you're getting broody again. I just think we should at least talk about it some more. Well, OK, but I don't think I'm going to change my mind. Yeah, I know that's what you said. But I guess I just hope that once the idea had time to sink in... Bounced off, you mean? Well, that's a pity, because I've thought about it a lot. <sighs> I don't want another child, Robert. You give her a consequence, no telly for a week, but to make a stand against the wall like that? What a horrible way to punish a little girl. It's pretty bad what Hope did, though. Don't you dare defend her. Yeah, yes, it was bad if she did just pull the head off unprovoked, but we don't actually know what else went on. But Hope's no saint. You do know that. Yes, yes, I know. We've just been given a long report about her problems, haven't we? She's a very troubled little girl, yeah, but she needs more understanding, not someone to come down on her like a ton of bricks. But Nana's just from a different generation. I nearly died when I walked in on her. And besides, Hope was bad long before Nana stepped foot in the house. She 
The way she stands there as well, just watching me, judging me. And she's horrible to hope, that's bad enough, but she's horrible to me and all. Why should I have to put up with it? And you just stand there, you don't say anything, Ty, you don't defend me. Right, I'll talk to her. I'm sorry, but this really isn't working out, is it? I want her to move out. Move out? I don't want her here. Well, that's a bit drastic, don't you think? And she, she's got no... She just walks around like she owns the place. Why else would she help herself to Vera's jewellery? Oh, come on, we've sorted that I out. know she's your family, but remember me and Hope are your family too. I don't want her here. The larvae light was on offer. <coughs> Need to cut down. Well, should take it back. No, I'll get drunk. <laughs> so I bumped into Sophie earlier. Said that you both want to see Sally. Oh, I've got loads of Chris. Another thing we should cut down on. You didn't tell me you were going. Well, I have to visit. I'm a sister. According to Sophie, she's dead upset and wants to see me. I didn't get that impression. You told me that she didn't want to talk to me. Well, she didn't. Oh, so Sophie's lying, is she? No, she's just reading the situation one way, clinging to the vain hope that none of this is actually happening, whereas I am being a bit more honest about how Sally's. A bit more realistic, maybe. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, if she's not going to see me, I think I deserve some answers, don't you? I don't know. I'm going to apply for a visiting order. Uh, brandy, is it? A large one. Thought I might find you here. Eh? Well, I needed a drink after the day I've had. Tell you what, I'll get that. Come to apologise, have you? No. This has just took hope to therapy and I just wanted to say who was wrong to leave her with you. If I'd opened her mouth back to a grown-up like that... Yeah, well, times have changed, haven't they? <laughs> For the better. Yeah, thank you. I'll have lemonade as well, please. Right, OK, so she's a bit of a handful, but that is an excuse. Just giving her a tug on her lead. We do things our own way. You do things Fiona's way. <sighs> Who calls themselves Fizz? Well, she likes it. Mm. <coughs> Fee is Fiona shortened. Fee, not Fizz. And if she's trying to express her personality, well, she ought to call herself flat. Look, I don't know why you think it's a good idea to rile me up. You're in enough trouble as it is. I just think you could do a lot better. Oh. You know, handsome boy like you. you well, me and Fizz, right, we're rock solid. I just can't bear the way she shoves you around. We see eye to eye on everything, especially when it comes to handling hope. Hope? She runs the two of you racket. You know what? I was sticking up for you earlier on. I was telling this to give you a benefit of the doubt. About now I'm starting what? to agree with her. About what? About you moving out. And I mean it this time. There's no twist in my arm. You've gone too far. Hi, Sal. You bearing up? I am now. I've had a visit request from Tim. I to come and see me. Oh, I don't think that's a good idea. Well, I can't wait to see him. I'm desperate. Really? Well, he's very volatile at the moment. I'd, I'd let the dust settle. Well, I can help it settle by telling him the truth. I don't think he's going to be that easy to convince. We are where we are. He's setting everything he thinks. I mean, he, he'd probably just say he wants a divorce and walk out again. You know you've done nothing wrong, but he's convinced you have. Well, I'll have to convince him otherwise. Look, all I want is what's best for both of you. If you want my advice, Don't send him that visit in order. Don't send it. Let him calm down. Give me time to work on him. You've got to trust me on this, Sal. But look, it's too soon. Well, you see him every day. You can see how he's taking it. Yeah, badly at the moment. But he'll come round. Here she started. Hey, where's Kate? 
Uh, I sent her home. She was upset. We're dead to late, then we're steady all night. Upset? So if I get upset, can I go on? Yeah, if you tidy the place up when you get there. Look, I'm, I'm sorry to be so definite. I just, I really want to nip this in the bud. Just a bit taken aback. I didn't realise it was so clear cut. I'm just being honest. Well, she'd been honest when we got together. I was. You never mentioned kids. I didn't want to force the issue, obviously, after what happened. But it's always been there. I thought women were the ones with the biological clock. Well, that's something I feel strongly about. I don't think I realised how much. I would love us to have a kid of our own. I know that. It's just, you know, I've, I've already got two. And, and they're both living with us, you know? I want to channel all my energy into them. And into us, you know? I want us to go to... to Rome and, and Paris. Not flipping Nappy Central. You know, Rory's a massive factor. I just... I just couldn't... risk going through all of that again. Yeah, I... I get that you're apprehensive, but... To say an outright no when you know how happy that would make me. Yeah, but you're you're pushing me when you know it's not what I want. You know? I mean, aren't we aren't we a bit long in the tooth to be chasing round after a toddler? Well, I do it all. I feel like I'm past it. Oh, come on, love. No, you're not. You're young and you're healthy. And there's no reason if we did try why the pregnancy wouldn't go full term. I know this is really unfair, you know. I'm I'm denying you of the the chance to do something that I've already done. I just... I, I want enough time and energy for us. What can I say? If your mind's made up, then... mine is too. You get a better coffee at your work, surely. Well, I got sent home to sober up, so I'm not in Robert's good books. What happened? I got a bit drunk and emotional. Why? Well, it looks like Susie will be your only grandchild for a while yet. Hey, there's no pressure from my end. I was surprised, obviously chuffed, when you said you wanted to try. But you're still a kid yourself. With a woman. I mean, not that you shouldn't have kids. It's just it's still quite rare for couples like you. No. I'm not against it. Whatever makes you happy. I'm still keen. It's just it's Rana that's having second thoughts. I won't pry. No, not about being a mum, just about the mechanics. Well, maybe she's not ready yet. There's no rush, is there? It's just not working out. I'm sorry. She's had it in for me ever since we met. No, she's not. Yeah, just lying around waiting for me to put a foot wrong and then she'll pounce. Well, don't worry. I don't stay where I'm not wanted. It was only ever meant to be for a couple of weeks anyway. God knows where I'll go, but I'll probably end up on a park oh. bench somewhere. No, you won't. You'll be fine. I'll make sure of it. Of course, there is an alternative. Oh, I watched that. Chuck her out. Anna! Well, you're not married. The house is in your name. You wouldn't have to give her a penny. And then you could join one of those dating apps, find yourself a nice young lady who hasn't spawned a devil child. I don't want anybody else. I want Fizz. And I don't want anyone talking about her, I know. She is a great mum to both of them girls. You're right, fine. Well, we'll just, we'll just agree to differ. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll keep my mouth shut from now on. You've fired a warning shot ac across my bowels, but you can't throw me out in the street. I'm not gonna. But I've got to put the girls first, haven't I? All of them, right? We're still gonna see lots of each other, and I'll make sure you find somewhere decent. Well, I should think so. I'm not going to go house hunting at my time of life. I don't know what I'll do. Because when you asked me to move in, you said you'll never be on your own again. I must still see lots of each other. Uh, not if Fiona has anything to do with it, we will. Hey, 
You're still my nana, and you always will be. You don't want to see me. Sal. Yeah. Sent her an email, got a reply. That's quick. Mm. We should start a kitty for all this stuff. I don't want you to be in that pocket. Nah, I don't mind. Look, I hate to say I told you so, but she's in a really bad place at the moment. Yeah, well, she's wrong. I'm prepared to talk to her, but she don't want to see me. She's ashamed she can't face you. Listen, give her time to calm down. Give me time to work on her. No chance. I'm never going to set foot in that place ever again. Any shred of doubt that I ever had, that's it. Finito. I'm so sorry, Tim. Yeah. I wish there was something I could do. Especially in rural areas, that's been very icy. Where have you been? I've rang her a million times. I've been more sick about you. I went to go and dry my sorrows. I'm sorry. What I said was stupid. I do get the fact that you got your reservations. And I'm sorry I went off at you at work. I'm not saying I won't ever want a child. Just not yet. It may I just need longer to get my head around it all. Like you said, there's no need to rush. Let's just... Put it on the back burner for now. Do you fancy a pizza? Oh, I could murder one. <laughs> okay, bend your knee gently. The other day we were playing tiddlywinks. One hit me in the eye. Do you need to examine that? <laughs> oh, all right. I'm overprotective. I can't help it. Okay, give him a break, will ya? It's hard for him as well. <laughs> Oh, there you are. Been wondering where you got to. Hiya. Hi. Laura's got something for you. My leg. Mm -hmm. Can I try it on? Of course you can. Now, we're just going to pop the stump sock on. It can be a bit fiddly at first, but you'll soon get used to it. And that's your new leg. Wow. <laughs> How does it feel? Now, why don't you try taking a few steps? Remember your first steps, I mean, this is amazing. Love it. Hey, uh, you on your own? Um, no, she's gone to get a takeaway. Uh, listen, what I said earlier, I'm sorry. It was oh, the no, 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 don't. It's fine. I'm the one who should apologise. Dismissing the idea like that. It could be my only chance to be a dad. Got him to do your dirty work then, did you? Well, I couldn't leave the house. I had a pile of ironing to do and a traumatised little girl to settle. Shit, Tipsy. Yeah, found her in the pub. But we've had a chat, haven't we? Oh, yes, I couldn't believe me ears at first. I mean, I look after the girls for free. Hope wreaks havoc. I am then out on me ear. Is that a fair summary, would you say? I won't have the girls scared like that. I'm sorry. Which is why I've told Evelyn I think it's best she finds somewhere else to live. Oh, well, no. Where's the trousers round here? I've got no choice but to comply. I've got to put the girls first. That's exactly what I said. Did you? Yeah. Don't worry. I get the message loud and clear. Right, good. I mean, you know, I've said that she can take her time and we'll all find somewhere nice to live. Well, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, there's no mad oh, rush, yeah, but I do... she'd have me in a old people's home straight away, but I need a bit of time. Then, yeah, take your time. I mean, I've got to find somewhere that's dog-friendly. Well, that might not be that easy. Oh, 
You want to separate me from the only companion I ever known? No, of course she doesn't. I'm just saying that there's lots of places that aren't dog friendly, so you don't want to limit your options. I think I'll take a bath. If I'm still allowed. Of course you are. I agree that she's got to move out, but I'd draw the line at separating her from Sir. We know how difficult it is to find places that take dogs Well, time. then we'll just have to wait until we find one. I want kids. A few hours ago, you were completely against the idea. Yeah, well, I just need to think it through. Michelle's nailed her colours to the mast and they're not pink or blue. She's got kids. Have you told her about any of this? Well, no, not while we're just kicking the idea around. But I, I bet we wouldn't be the only people to go down this route. It might work, it might be brilliant. <sighs> Maybe I'm getting carried away. I, I think we should at least look into it. Is that what you really want? Yeah, more than anything. Well, let's start looking into it. Um, but in the meantime, I think we should just keep this between you and me. Mum's a word. Well, it's the live final of The X Factor this weekend, tomorrow and on Sunday at 7.30. Next this Friday, someone has got to leave the jungle, but who will it be? It all comes down to your vote next. Live on I'm a Celebrity, get me out of here.